Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Danica here. If you're new here, my name is Danica. Um, and I know why you're here, so we're gonna jump right into it. The first tip I would suggest is to run. To prepare yourself to be able to run a mile and a half minimum. I can't emphasize this enough because we had about three girls who were recycled because they failed their PT test and we had I think one girl actually was entry level separated because she kept retaking it she got recycled and she never made it so you don't if you really want to join you want to go through all through MEPS and then make it all the way to basic and fail because you can't run a mile and a half by the PT standards that would be embarrassing so run 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 and if I'm being honest uh, Air Force PT standards if you're joining the Air Force um, the Air Force PT standards have changed quite a bit. They're a lot, I want to say easier. They're quite easier. Just make sure you can run a mile and a half um, by the PT standards. I'll put the link in the description what the PT standards are. You can just look them up if you're doing Air Force, Marines, Army, these all relate. So the biggest thing I would suggest is running. That's the number one thing I would say. And then to prepare yourself, I would be, I would honestly say rucking is a really good way to prepare yourself to run a mile um if you don't know what rucking is that's just getting a backpack <laughs> and then putting weights or rocks or books in there and then running half a mile and then running a mile and then being up be able to run a mile and a half so that when you do take your backpack off and you're just running with your body only it will be so much easier to run that mile and a half like i cannot express how much easier it is to run a mile and a half when you're so used to rucking um, another thing related to running is getting really, really, really good PT shoes because in basic you run on pavement and your shin splints. <laughs> if you're someone who has gotten shin splints before, you will get them worse because you run on pavement. You run on concrete. There's no track. There is a track, but they don't allow uh, trainees to run on them, which I think I'm not a fan of but however that's just how it was for me and that's how it's going to be for you to be honest if you're going to Lackland um, for other branches I'm not sure what if you if you guys are running on tracks or not but I would still be prepared to be prepared with a really good PT shoes they do give you PT shoes but I'm not gonna lie to you they are not fun actually I think I have my PT shoes that they give you so I'll show them to you <laughs> y'all so these are the PT shoes <laughs> These are the PT shoes that they give you and they're not cute, but they are hella sturdy. And I actually use them. I had brought some soles with me, some insoles. So you could possibly do that. Bring insoles and put them in these shoes, but they are um, quite uncomfortable to be honest. You have to break them in. I haven't used them since basic. I just didn't want to ruin my um, running shoes. I actually think I didn't bring running shoes on accident because I was moving and it was a whole thing. But um, make sure you're prepared to run. You'll be running a 26 minute mile, 26 minute mile. You'll be running 26 minutes nonstop, that's the expectation, by like week four, um, once a week. So if you can't run for 26 minutes nonstop, you better get to practicing. And I'm sorry because the first time we did it, we only did it twice during my, um, my basic because of COVID. And that really sucked because we didn't run at all and then we were expected to run for 26 minutes. The next thing I would say, get rid of those the next thing i would say is just pack really lightly pack lightly when you're going because your everything you need will be given to you like legitimately everything you need keyword need <laughs> will be given to you however um underwear is not given to you you can buy underwear you'll be getting to go to the bx bx is like a shopping spot they bring you stuff you could possibly need that you forgot to bring and they bring it to you and then you can purchase it with the car that they give you which is still actually your money that they pay you long story short but i would suggest to bring underwear i brought tons of underwear and that's about it like i brought other stuff like you know hair care stuff that i need for my particular hair like you know what i'm saying black girls if you know what i'm talking about bring the stuff you need because they will have like pantene pantene is that what it's called that kind of like shampoo and stuff and that is not going to be good for your hair so i would bring like a very small bottle of conditioner very small bottle of the particular shampoo you want if and on that note i'll be linking my bmt packing you list in the description you know that you, your hair can't take certain things bring underwear um you really don't need socks you don't really need anything just bring everything 
things that you think you need that they would not provide. There's a, there's a packing list that's on the Air Force app. I can link, link a packing list for you guys. But like I'm saying, the keyword is here is lightly. Like you really don't need to bring a lot because when you're leaving, <laughs> you'll be given a duffel bag. And when I say that duffel bag is packed up to here, and you have to carry that duffel bag and they give you a backpack of other stuff. So you're going to put that the duffel bag on your back, the backpack on your front and whatever bag you bring with you when you're leaving. Mm, that is awful. And you, you have to walk about a mile with those bags. Mm, my God, I'm triggered. That was such an awful, awful experience. Y'all, I'm five foot. So imagine me carrying a five foot duffel bag and a backpack. They're all packed heavy. And then I'm carrying the rolling, uh, my actual bag that I've had carried with me. So key here, pack lightly. Um, get used to showering with other people. Very first time you do it, the first day, like the first time you shower in the morning and the night, it's gonna be very, very awkward because you don't know these people. Everybody's butt naked. <laughs> Your butt naked. Um, everyone's naked and you don't know these people, it's hella awkward. However, I would suggest just getting used to the thought of that because you have a short amount of time to shower and y'all gonna waste it the first couple times if you're still like if you're deaf if you're weirded out by being around people you don't know naked like everyone's girls everyone's stressed out they just want to get clean that's the mindset to have get in get out be prepared to not be come like i never felt clean <laughs> during basic like when i was showering 10 minutes is not enough to wash your hair and wash your parts and wash your especially these areas because you're working out a lot you're moving a lot so you're sweating it's kind of gonna smell it's gonna smell in there a lot because yeah there's not enough time to shower ladies i this this is not just for the ladies but be prepared to possibly have certain infections i did not get one thank the lord but there was a few girls who got utis yeast infections because you're not given the chance to shower properly so hopefully that does not happen but it's a possibility and it's not a big deal for girls guys um get used to being bald <laughs> they shave your head i think the first week you guys and um the guys the the way they handled y'all's heads when i was watching they were just yeah shave 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 in out in out so get used to shaving being bald and then also get used to having your face shaved every day like shaving your face every day very quickly um i would practice because i know you guys probably got like nicks and bruises that is a good segue to making sure that you leave the opposite gender alone um yeah do not try to interact with other flights unnecessarily especially when you go to beast because we had some people get in trouble i think someone was recycled or separated for that do not try to have you don't want to have a beast baby look this imagine all the work you put in to get into the air force you're already at fifth week or sixth week when you go to bees like you're almost done with basic and you get in trouble because you were too talkative or too touchy-feely don't just avoid the other gender like the plague it's not worth it you're never gonna see these people again you might be kicked out just avoid it unnecessary drama avoid it avoid it avoid it avoid it the thing that i suggest for sure for sure for sure is hitting that like button and the subscribe button for more information for me and typing any questions you guys have in the bottom <laughs> i'm just playing guys another thing i definitely suggest is getting used to not being in charge and being like being okay like emotionally be okay with like not being in charge because it won't be <laughs> and like be okay and be able to trust trust that your MTIs, your drill sergeants are not gonna, they're not gonna do any bodily harm, harm to you. Be okay with following directions like to the T and that will keep you out of so much trouble. It's gonna make be basic so much easier if you are literally like physically and attitude wise, emotionally okay with being told what to do and following those directions well and basic will be a breeze. Another thing that's really not a huge deal, like you do not have to do this, but I was just bringing envelopes, like a ton of envelopes that are already pre-labeled. Like literally get envelopes, put stamps on them, write the address, write who you're sending them to. Um, I'd already have paper in there. I would just like really prepare some pre-labeled envelopes. Um, I wouldn't date them, that doesn't make any sense. But yeah, get some envelopes that are pre-stamped pre uh pre addressed i can definitely link some um from amazon that i bought when i shipped out 
that were pre-stamped and then I just wrote the the address on the people I thought I would be sending to to and that worked out because you're giving such a short time like personal time I think personal time was like 15 minutes a day after like the first week once everything's like going smoothly and it could be less could be more so it's just really important to like not waste any time especially when you're giving that time to write to your family like it feels like the world like it genuinely like that personal time felt like the most important time out of the like day for you because at the time you can write about your day um you can talk to your talk to your family it's during covid so you will be given the opportunity to, to actually give like call them i think once a week i don't know if they change that but you get to call them once a week and just say i don't have covid everybody's alive stuff like that and check on your family because we're still in the pandora right now we're still in a progressive trium <laughs> i don't remember how to say it. we're still in a whole pineapple right now so yeah, it's still important. I think the phone call was definitely necessary because we did have, I did have someone in my flight who, whose parents had COVID and that was really, really tough on her. And I, I think that, you know, God forbid something had happened to her parents while she was in basic, she wouldn't have known unless Red Cross called and that would have just been a very horrific time. So, whew, that was a little, that got a little sad. Another really, really big thing that I would suggest um, thinking about, like I know a lot of people are against the you know what right now. Like I said, we're in a whole pineapple. So a lot of people are in, against the whole, I can't even say the word because YouTube is so, people are so crazy about it that I can't even talk about it. But you will be getting a certain shot that is related to the pineapple that we're in right now. <laughs> so I would suggest getting that shot before going in to basic because for me when I got the shot um and when I also got the flu shot let me say when I got the flu shot in basic that took me out and it takes me out every time I get it it's pretty um common for everyone to get sick because you got everyone coming in from different states traveling and then you give them shots the side effects of shots usually happen to most people so the pineapple shot that you will be getting that shot that's related to the pineapple that we're in right now the pan apple that we're in right now is getting that shot before because the side effects kind of suck the second shot and if you don't get it before you go in you will be getting it at basic and i just feel like on top of the flu shot and every other vaccine that you have to get that just seems like too much too much so totally suggest getting the uh shot beforehand if you do not want to get that shot then joining the military is not going to be happening for you <laughs> so if you're one of those people who are against getting the you know what shot um yeah i hate to break it to you but you will not be in the military that's that's that on that one um and then the last thing the last thing because i feel like these last two have been a little heavy is to hit that like button real quick and have fun <laughs> the the next thing i it, no the biggest thing is actually having fun if you watch my videos i'll link them somewhere over here um if you watch my videos on my experience in basic um i had a lot of fun and the first couple weeks my my attitude was i'm in i'm in here to just pass time go like i'm not here to do to have fun like i i didn't go in thinking i'm gonna have so much fun i went in thinking i'm here to do this thing it's gonna be a small little splat in my air force career and then i'm gonna go and then if I'm being honest, like I had so much fun in basic. You make a, hopefully, hopefully you'll make a basic bestie because I sure did. I'm always like so happy whenever I think about basic because I made a really cool friend who I feel like we made our experiences so much better than, than it could have been if we weren't there. And I saw a lot of people make connections like that and friendships that I just believe could last for a lifetime because you experience something that not only the 1% will experience. So to just yeah just have as much fun as you can like when you're not gonna have access to your phone access to your friends back home and i think when you lose access to that certain entertainment level like you don't have tiktok you don't have instagram you don't have youtube to talk like entertain you so the little things become so funny personally like everything was funny to me and then like I don't know you just become more appreciative like literally just food you're so appreciative of food like i personally ate so slow and i still eat super slow like i literally chew in slow motion that eating food at basic was like the most amazing thing because you just appreciate food so much you're hungry <laughs> you're hungry you're like 
you know laughing with your friends like everything's becomes it's either at first it's really really like serious and then it becomes like a not a joke because you still have to do it but it just becomes so funny like you're doing details and you're literally using a flip flop to brush the air like it's just like these little things that you do are just so silly it just becomes silly to you because you're like I don't know I personally I had moments when I would think back to like the actual world outside of basic and I'm like this is like so silly and so funny and I would just be randomly giggling and I'm sure these girls thought I was crazy <laughs> um but yeah the main thing other than the other nine things I just said is, is to have fun because basic is just going to give you lifelong memories and you're going to make it with hopefully great people and you make great friendships so and it's just something that everyone in the military experiences so yeah I would definitely try to make the best of it Anyways, if you have any questions, like literally any questions related to basic or like how many underwear should I bring or or like what was beast like? Any questions at all, let me know and I will make another video or I'll literally just answer them in the comments if it's like a super easy one. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all in another video. And lastly, don't forget to take care of yourself, take care of people around you because you never know what people are going through.